do it. Rocks glass. Also, you need ice, so I'm gonna go get that. 
For each drink, you will need two ounces of your rye whiskey, but since we're making two, we're gonna pour four ounces. According to the Worldwide, it's fragrant. <laughs> it's actually good stuff. Um, this is Eric Teague's whiskey. <laughs> Shout out Eric Teague, thanks for leaving this at my house. <laughs> According to the World Wide Web, you need one scant teaspoon of simple syrup. Scant teaspoon is a little bit less than a full teaspoon. So take your one scant teaspoon simple syrup per drink and put it in there. <laughs> Stir that around in there. Next, you're gonna do two to three dashes of bitters per drink according to what you like. Now, I don't know anything about bitters, do you? I was just about to ask you what they tasted like. They smell like licorice. According to the World Wide Web, bitters is um, like a tonic that is flavored with botanical matter. So things like bark and roots and herbs. One dash, two dash, three dash. And stir that around in your rocks glass. Next, go ahead and add your one maraschino cherry, or two, I'm gonna do two. Okay, so the whole reason that you need an orange for this recipe is just to get the rind, because we're gonna do an orange twist. A little twist it in there, then drop it in there. And that is how you make an old fashioned. Okay, it's a hit and miss for me. So if you were gonna rate this one, a scale of one to 10, where are we falling? 4.25. I'm gonna go, this is a solid six. What are we making next, Raven? For our next classic cocktail, Raven's Right, we are making a gimlet. And the base for a gimlet is gin, simple syrup. We're using a shaker with ice in it, but we're not gonna shake it. Molly, you'll talk about it in a second. Limes. And a, yeah, you'll need to juice your limes. So that's what we're gonna do first. So you need three quarters ounce lime juice per gimlet. So we are going to squeeze an ounce and a half out of these bad boys. Notice Molly is rolling her fruit before she slices it, that really helps get all the juices to come out when she juices it. And you would have known that if you had watched my lemonade episode. Whoa! Snap! Once you juice all your limes and you get an ounce and a half or three quarters of an ounce for um, if you're just drinking alone, which good on you, then pour that into your shaker. You will also need three quarters of an ounce per drink of simple syrup. So for us, it's going to be an ounce and a half. And pour that in your shaker. Is there a chance that somebody doesn't know how to make a simple syrup? Oh, okay, so if you don't know how to make a simple syrup, then again, you didn't watch my lemonade video because I taught you how to make it there. What you do is equal parts water and equal parts sugar, and you put your water on, um, on the burner on your stove, and you wait for it to boil or get really hot, and then I pour the sugar in there, and then you mix it so the sugar dissol dissolves, and that makes a simple syrup, okay? All right, so Raven is right. While we did have our shaker, we're not gonna use it. Because the thing about gin, if you shake it, it actually bruises the gin. When gin gets bruised, it can alter the flavor and sort of make it bitter. Don't ever shake your gin. That is why when uh, James Bond says shake it, not stir, you can sort of infer that he wants a vodka martini and not a gin martini. This is a actually very cool fact. There you go. All that being said, do not shake this, just stir it around. So once you stir it and it gets it nice and cold, go ahead and put your shaker lid back on there because while we're not shaking it, we do need the little strainer part of your shaker. Pour it into your glasses. And then of course, for some decorative flourish, you can go ahead and do a little lime wheel and float it in there if you want. And that is how you make a gin gimlet. <laughs> I'm so excited. Yes! Oh my God! Of one to ten, how do you feel about this drink? Honestly, I feel like really strong about this. This is like an eight or nine. This is a solid eight for me, I think. Yeah. Well, there you go, all you millennial losers or boozers. <laughs> that is your guide to making some classic cocktails. I can't even give a good outro because I'm just enjoying this so much. <laughs> Raven, thank you for joining me. I'm always here to drink the drinks. <laughs> all right, guys, you're the best. I'll see you next week. Bye.